Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So AMC, let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys, and see how the insiders been making millions and millions. I'm talking about crazy amounts of cash while the retail investors have been getting slumped, slammered, played with, manipulated, all types of things. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. So AMC Entertainment ended the day at five dollars and ninety cents, down over four percent. This morning we seen a nice little. Nice little spike with the overall market. It was choppy overall due to data coming out the day from the feds. But as we know, I told you guys, a bullish market was going to happen this month, regardless of what, you know, really was going on. Because sometimes if you zoom all the way out, then for the fact that we got hit hard, a lot of other different factors that goes into play, it was only due that the market, you know, slingshot up even if it's just for a short period of time before reversing and going back lower if it continues to decide to go lower because we know things could drastically change but it don't look like they they is so if the economy state the state that is at is going to come right back down to overall market dropping about 20 percent bitcoin possibly dropping 40 to 50 percent from where it currently stands at but before that though guys we do and we'll see a lot of bullish activity so let's go ahead and take a look at this and see exactly what's been happening behind closed doors. So right here, data shows AMC insiders got rich off retail investors, guys, retail traders. So if we take a look at this right here, at least some people got pretty rich from AMC's two year stock roller coaster, but it wasn't the company super loyal buy and hold investors known as the apes. A Fox business analyst shows that company insiders such as hedge funds, private equity firms, as well as board members, top executives, and other big investors in the world, the largest movie theater chain, sold a staggering $888 million in stock over the past two years at prices significantly higher than they are today. So they sold in between that $60 and $77 territory, I'm pretty sure. According to information from Dataroma, a website that tracks the portfolios of prominent investors in their real-time stock transactions. The most significant chunk of stock sales came from PE firm Silver Lake Hedge Fund, Mudder Capital, and Wanda American Entertainment. We remember those. We remember when they bought and sold. Part of China based uh part of China based Wanda Group combined, they unloaded 782 million of the stock, guys. So they made closely to a billion dollars of retail investors, filthy, filthy rich. But company officials such as CEO Adam Aaron, AMC's chief executive officer and human resource chief sold $106 million in stock in a series of particularly well-timed and lucrative transactions. So right there, keyword, well-timed. They sold as if they knew insider information. These sales occurred after AMC's joined the so-called mean stock curve in early 2000, 2021, and an army of retail investors began snapping up shares, pushing prices to the moon. So guys, as we can see right here, it's clear as day, you know, they were scheming, lurking, and they made buttloads and buttloads of cash off the retail investors. So as we know, guys, it it's all the way back down to the beginning stages. Prices is dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. I mean, you know, it can go lower, but just know from here, it's a no burner. It has nowhere else to go but up. Of course, the overall market can drop. So, of course, it's going to be a spike, possibly come lower and shake that tree hard one more time. You know, making people just because once the market spike up like it's going to do, you know, a lot of some people is going to take the opportunity, you know, buy option contracts, be able to make thousands of percentage if they time it right, make a lot of money back. And then by the time that market come back down, that's just really going to scare people because already at the lowest point that we reached this year is already nerve wracking. And for the people that's just holding and not holding that cash position. So imagine when it go down 20 more percent from where we are all time low already of this year, 20 more percent. That's a huge drop, guys, as far as how much we already dropped. So that would really scare people up out of there. You know, they would be like, I'd rather have some type of money. They ain't going to lose everything for the ones that don't have the right mindset and know that it gots to go back up and it will go back up and it's going to go back up. So you already know, guys, like I say, 
you already know what to do. Ain't gonna talk your head off. I love y'all. Add your boy on Instagram at the Behave Show. Get in VIP. We calling our bangers over there. Also, watch out for scam. All that good stuff, guys. So, I never reach out to you first and ask you for no money and all that. So, be very careful. I love you. We out and God bless you. We go.